Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I am holding back from yelling because we have the microphones now, but it just feels weird because the camera is so far away. But hello, welcome to mine and Alex's podcast. I'm this just kidding. feels like a podcast. Literally, one of the questions was actually asking cool. that if we would ever have a podcast, but I don't think so, but um, okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, but anyways, we wanted to do this video because if you guys follow me on Instagram on my stories, I had posted that we're recording like a. That's like making me antsy. <sighs> if you guys follow me on Instagram, I had posted that we were recording like a wedding kind of update for you guys and all of that. But that quickly did not go as planned because we realized 20 minutes into the video that me and Alex did not have the answers to a lot of these things. So we were like, you know what? Let's let's redo this video when we have answers to like at least mm -hmm. so much more things the day gets closer and we can like for real update you guys because me and him were kind of just having like one and one on the video we like we were like wait that's what we're gonna do i know or i was like wait we actually haven't thought about this we haven't thought about that and i was like babe stop the camera get the cameras <laughs> we will gather our thoughts have answers for you guys and then fully update you guys but to kind of uh, give you guys an update on that we are getting married 100 2024 and please leave us down below any tips tricks anything for the groom or the bride highly Very appreciated appreciate because we don't we've never been married before we've never have been you? married before <laughs> he's all actually um we've never been married before so this is all so new to us we don't really have like friends or family that we've have been to two weddings in our life yeah which you guys know about laura's and karen's and oh my god they were, they were so amazing. beautiful yeah so we're highly inspired but I'll, of course there's so many things that go behind weddings like the court sleeping together the day before like so many things that were like wait what so yeah with that being said they will definitely be a video uh, coming soon with all of the answers, days, location, cord, all, all of that. Stuff. We're ready for the wedding. But for now, you get a QA. and a y Yes, a QA. and a And if you have had a wedding before, let us know your top three things that you would tell a bride as far as like tips or recommendations. Like those really interest me right now. So that's that for the wedding. And I told Alex like, babe, we have not done a Q&A three years, right? When was our last one? I think with like baby G. I honestly don't remember. We don't remember. So well, we sat like, and talked about the gym one time no but that was like gym talk mostly the, yeah that was kind of more like of a fitness q a update kind of how like we got into like that lifestyle and stuff but not a q a to let you guys know more of the updates so we were due for one i went on instagram told you guys to ask us any questions that you guys have does not i hope you guys cannot can you hear my rings <laughs> they're like all dingling um uh, does not have to be wedding related but kind of just update you guys on where life has been because holy moly it has been busy like life is different now huh yeah with two kids i would be like okay how much like of a switch can it be but it's definitely it adds so much more to your plate because you're now parents of two, two kids. kids so yeah i used to not see it like a big deal and it's like great but the, you different. get it Life is different. <laughs> if you have yeah. more than one kid, in a good way yeah you definitely you definitely get it but uh yeah i picked some questions that you guys had for the both of us i saw a lot of good questions like for just him or just me but uh, I decided to pick these for the both of us because if not, Alex blab blabbles or <laughs> I blabble. But much, yeah. of course, the number one question that you guys love and honestly, I don't mind it is, can you guess it? When's the wedding? No. Well, that's one of them, but seriously, wait, it's like wait. the top question. Do you guys want more? more kids? Do you guys want more kids? Um, I think that question keeps coming because we have been very open that obviously I haven't gotten like um, any surgeries from either side to like stop having kids and our answer has been like check up on us in a year and stuff every year we tell you guys that well since Kylie she's one but what's the answer on that babe I'm interested to know what you think are you asking me if I want more kids or are you asking what is our mutual answer well I think question? it's the same answer no or you have a different I'm oh, like wait a minute well, did I miss it right chapter? now from what I know is that we aren't planning on having any kids right now. Got them. More. <laughs> You're pregnant. Ru I'm just kidding. But yeah, we're both on that same vibe, I think, right now. Mm -hmm. Like, just kind of like, we're not like, oh, we're not ever having more kids, but we're just not like, not right now. So yeah. We're, we're always constantly in that conversation of like, so when do you think we should have another one? But, but then we then, go into... But then we go into the whys and the why nots, and then just... I think, I think that happens to like everybody, mm -hmm. no? Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you're like set on no or set on yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, basically what Alex said, I feel like we have those days where we're like, you know what? We're down. And then days that they're just hectic or weeks that are so hectic, we're like, you know what? No, like this is, we were meant for this. But I saw something that said like a woman knows when they're done and when they're not. I saw that. And like, tell me why I felt like, like the, like a, that's a Raven moment. I was like, 
I just feel like, I, I, I don't know, and I've told Alex, and I'll tell you guys now, but I just feel like I'm meant to have at least one more, but 100% what he said, like 100% not right now, you guys know I am on birth control, but no, right now, absolutely not they're both like handfuls right now but i don't know ask us every year for a yearly update yeah for sure and it might just happen all random no but right I'm now you're on I'm dulce. that is the current answer quickly interrupting to thank Sunbird for sponsoring this video you guys know i love Sunbird, and i've been telling you guys about them for years now i love them because you get to try a new designer fragrance every month without having to commit to the full bottle because girl designer fragrances can get pricey 100 to 300 dollars a bottle and with Sunbird here to save the day you can still smell bomb switch your scent according to the season for example right now we're leaving the summer entering the fall going into the winter and i like to switch up my scent and Sunbird is perfect for that their packaging is also perfect i love how convenient it is i can just put it in my diaper bag and my office bag and take with me everywhere i also really appreciate that it locks and unlocks for me to just take it out of my bag and spray it without being scared that it's going to leak everywhere this month i got sense of wood i also got creed aventus and also paused by good habit which i'm super excited for because i love good habit skincare so without having to commit to the full bottle i get to try their perfume they send you a full 30 day supplies and honestly it always lasts me longer than that they have over 600 designer brands to pick from like gucci versace prada and these are 100 authentic since they do work directly with the brand they have perfumes colognes and also unisex options if you want to get the subscription for you and your man's girl smelling good can get pricey okay Okay, bottles range from 150 even 300 to 500 dollars and with sunbird you don't have to do all that you don't have to commit to the full 500 dollar bottle they send you a 30 day supply every month for just 17 dollars a month and with my code ld makeup you guys get 55 percent off your first month that means your first month is only eight dollars make sure to scan this qr code or click the link down below to visit sunbird and use my code ld makeup to get 55 percent off your first month again that's only eight dollars okay back to the video Next question, is this still your forever home? I think so. Oh, almost. I mean, yeah, I'd say this is our, our, our forever home as of right now, but it's just like anything else, you know? Yeah, like, I know what you're going to say. Things can change, like... Like, you never know the future, literally. Maybe we'd have five more kids, and then maybe this can be our, <laughs> our forever home. I'm just saying, like, I think that's such a tough question. But uh -huh. as of right now, as a family of we four, do see home. and potentially one more... Or don't start more. saying that babe because then you guys are gonna start asking me if i'm pregnant no. uh, without you date. yeah but yeah i get what you're saying yeah I, i'm just saying like I, I don't like to say that term forever because mm -hmm. things change and like you can go you know yeah like a lot a of different stuff way. can happen yeah so right now yes i love it here yeah well to me we love it here. i mean we have it's our second christmas here uh but to me 100 percent. i love 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 our home you guys know it took two years to build mm -hmm. so yeah, I get what, where you're coming from. Like, Alex is very much like, you don't know what's going to happen in one year, 10 years. But to, without getting so technical, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this yeah. is our forever home technical. where we do plan to raise all of our 12 kids. And just <sighs> kidding, our, <laughs> where we do plan to raise our kids. How are your fitness journey going? How's it going, babe? It's going great. <laughs> Honestly, um, Alex has been lately like way more like strict. Dial. Not on the gym. Yeah, he's dialed in. I'm like, he's like locked in. Um, I mean, of course, here and there was, you know, but I feel like for a time it was me who was like super dialed in and he was kind of curvy. Yeah. And now it's the opposite, which I like because I feel like when I'm kind of like in my curves, he like dials me in yeah, and I'm vice like, versa. I'm like, babe. Get back on this side. Come yeah, on. and I'm just like, yeah, like, you know, like, let's get to it. But, but I think both of us have definitely made the gym uh, a lifestyle. Like, that's like yeah. brushing our teeth now. Like, if I don't gym for two days, I'm like, damn, I, I haven't gymmed. And honestly, I start feeling so, like, bummy, funky, and I'm just... It, Exercise really, well, who are we talking about this now? But it really does change it's, you. Yeah, it's scientifically proven. Mm -hmm. Tell us the, more. He reads a lot of books on this. I, moving the muscle is just like a scientifically proven, like any type of exercise. I mean, you don't have to go and like lift insane weights or anything. Mm -hmm. Just any type of like exercise is obviously good for you. And I mean, that's, that's a given. But the more you do it and the more it becomes like a, a habit, like the more you feel good about yourself. Like, you know, it, it affects your mental positively. Mm -hmm. For sure. You know, chemicals and all that good stuff in your brain. You know, when you're working out, it stimulates the mind and it just makes you feel good, which is why mm -hmm. when you say like, yo, like, I, you know, like there's times where life gets in the way and like we miss the gym a few days or we have to go out of town and it's kind of like balancing miss, like, that and stuff. you miss like, you know, a few days up to a week or something. And then Leslie's like, oh, I'm starting to just feel like. Yeah. Like, like just bad, like bummy. And it's just cause like you're already, 
we, we've established that habit. Yeah, I think just going back, it's because I can go off on this topic. I just. <laughs> no, yeah, I think it does go farther I love, I than that. And now. I think coming from somebody who you guys know, me and Alex had never been like about this lifestyle up until it's been three years now. I was looking like uh, when I started the gym, like yeah. in January of, what was it, 2019? Yeah. 2020? But I, I want to say that in that time, and I think we talked about this, in that time we were going to the gym, but like we weren't, we weren't It was dialed. a lifestyle. Like, you know, like we were just kind of it's like an obligation. Like we were like, fuck mm -hmm. it like i was just going because i'm like dude like i think back then we were a little more like you know we had just had baby g and he was kind of like you know our, our only child and then we were still kind of like balancing the parent life with like kind of like having fun and like taking trips and going yeah. out of town and honestly i'll say for myself like i back you know i often think about now i'm like ugh, like at that time i remember on the weekend i was kind of more like fast food and like let's have some beers and some drinks and like now it's like completely different i actually got a dm the other day and they were like dude it's so cool like to see uh your involvement like you know how much you've evolved in the last few years and like the journey has been super sick and i think at the beginning of this year is when it really started like when we got with our nutritionist mm -hmm. uh shout andre. out to andre yeah he really changed the game he for us, really changed our lives i think um and i told him that the other day i'm like dude i'm like forever grateful because mm -hmm. we did three months of like strict yeah, military like style locked eating in. like locked in and no absolutely no drinking we didn't no 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 drinking and that's kind of like where we made the most progress so now like you know we we balance a more of a healthier lifestyle when it comes to what we eat and you know like we of course like bro we love to have fun like i'm yeah. like that's one thing me and leslie have in common and that's just something that we runs love a, we love a, a yeah. cold beer after a yeah. long day yeah. with them kids yes. just kidding like yes, 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 don't yes. get us wrong we'll still have a good time and you guys see we travel and yes. you know we get we get locals here and there but before it used to be like friday saturday sunday like yeah. let's get not locals but like let's drink have and be like shit and, and now yeah. it's kind of like a lifestyle and we kind of learn to balance it and i love yeah. that i mean it definitely helps so much that we're both on the same page and mm -hmm. he loves it i love it yeah we motivate each other but yeah it's became a lifestyle, a lifestyle. <laughs> we said we we're gonna elaborate a lot we'll probably that's a good topic though we'll probably right. trash half of what we just went off on i know i feel like this topic is very much half of you guys could care less about it because that's how i was my whole life up until i got into it and now like i can talk and talk about this but before he would be like babe jim and i'd be like you're ruining my day <laughs> don't mention that and give me that's crazy give huh? me a freaking marushan you know and now like i'm so intrigued by all this i also saw a dm somebody was like les why does alex have so how do you say it? why does alex progress, physically have so much more progress than you and i'm like back up girl i had two kids yeah but i mean yeah i am one year postpartum now so <laughs> i'm using that to my defense oh, yeah. and also it's like much. the question was how is your guys's fitness journey going but I like that. it's more going great like that. definitely something i do recommend to everybody out there once you look good i feel like you start feeling good and period. yes i just want to say one last thing remember guys like a change like big changes don't always have to meet like it doesn't have to start with like a drastic change like it, it's all baby steps even if you can change one little small thing every day it'll lead eventually like it'll pile to something big so like don't think that like from tomorrow from today to tomorrow you have to completely change your just persona. change everything persona. change the way we okay next question would you guys i feel like we might have answered this before i'm not sure oh, but i feel like we get this a lot would you guys ever move to la or buy a property out here we've answered this one huh? uh That's yeah our answer is no absolutely no we love going to la you guys know we're out there pretty often uh with either friends or working stuff events but no if you know i you think know. at one point it was like maybe we did a whole video on it which we won't elaborate too much but when we bought this house you guys know that story that we were like in literally 50 percent one foot in moving to la and i'm i don't know i just i feel i'm a strong believer that everything happens in god's way and god's plan because things went how it went and now we're like super happy here but yeah the question is no we don't have any plans to ever move to la how did you guys decide how many groomsmen or bridesmaids you guys will have mm -hmm. we don't know yeah girl <laughs> which ties back to what we're saying about not doing the wedding video because a lot of these things me and alex are still kind of like you know bouncing Disgusting. back and forth yeah Dis discussing and stuff so uh again comment down below how you did it what you wish you would have done different with like the cord and all of that because i know it can get like really deep and technical but yeah we actually don't know girl do you compete with each other two brands be honest so this one i was like what i was literally genuinely so confused like wait what do you mean like why would my, we compete yeah he's my fiance like i was so confused but i had actually i screenshot and i saved it to answer it because i had actually seen seen a reel or like a video or whatever saying like a huge uh relationship advice is to not compete with each other or if one is doing better than the other you should see it like a win 
for yourself, like they're part of your team, mm -hmm. which that's how I feel me, me and Alex have always seen it. I think with the, both brands, like it's obviously way two different worlds. We might, we mm -hmm. share an audience, you know, we're aware that we share an audience and, and a lot of people like to support us both and, and everything we do, which is super awesome. I think at the end of the day though, still like we are two different people. people you get sure. what I'm saying? So like we're still kind of both in, in two different brands, two different like art audiences in that aspect. Dude, Leslie, helps me a lot with my brand. She's the first person I go to with like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? And vice versa, Leslie will be like, oh, like, you know, this is what we got going on. And, and we, yeah. we're we good at giving each other advices. We don't like to be like, you know, I don't like to overstep and be like, yo, like, yo, that shit's whack. Or like, you know, we don't like to, we no, don't, we don't talk to each other. No, I want you to tell me that yeah. though. <laughs> no, no, I no, think yeah. the only time, like how he's saying, I do go to him because I know Alex is very like into trends. And I mean, you guys know, like Alex is more into trends and like fashion and like you dress nice, babe. Like you've been looking good. So I definitely trust his fashion advice. Um, so I go to him for that, you know, like yeah. and things like that. And Alex definitely knows I have the brains and just yeah. kidding, but like I'm into numbers. I'm into like mm -hmm. math, like my whole, like that's what I like to do and yeah. stuff. Uh, so he'll come to me for that. I see us as one like yeah. how do you two keep such a healthy happy fun relationship one other thing is still like making time to like do the date nights or like even when we go out of town together for like a work trip that Leslie goes for a shoot or, or anything like that like essentially we get to kind of like spend that time together alone you know even though she works or she has a photo shoot we kind of when we're out of town we make that time to be like hey well you know after we're done with work we mm -hmm. should go to dinner because we're out of town like, like we're in LA let's you know let's go eat dinner and have a good time so that's pretty much it guys just finding the time the communication yeah making time for each other which I feel like with us having like such a busy I mean you guys get it like with kids and work and everything uh just kind of making time for that or sometimes like not forgetting each other and alex would tell me this and i'm like that's so true like <laughs> at the end of the day like it's me and you you know like aside everything that's happening like our relationship is like our priority as far as like whoa like everything's going everything on else. but like yeah he he he's very good at like I, I just like to because i i get it like our life can be hectic sometimes and like i understand when she's frustrated i understand when she's um you know like a little stressed and like the last thing i'm gonna do is be like what's wrong with you huh like why Place clips, me tirando. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, like, so I'm just kind of good at being like, hey, like, I know it's been a rough day or it's been like, yeah. you're kind of stressed out. It's been a stressful week for you. But like, hey, let's remember, like, you know, yeah. at the end of the day, it's me and you and I'm here to make your life easier, not harder. And like, let's just, let's just communicate, which mm -hmm. is, you know, we do that often. A it's lot the Capricorn than, in me. And just kidding. Defin Alex definitely is more the one, like, I guess like the softer one. <laughs> and then, soft. well, not softer. Like, Alex no, yeah, is no, for sure, definitely yeah. more like, like just breathe more like emotional. and like everything's gonna be okay and yeah and more emotional and i'm just like ah like a little bit more like that mentally like in my head's all and he's all like fire. Ooh. yeah <laughs> sometimes everything's on fire in my head and he's all like babe but i'm here for you and i'm like that's not what i want to hear they're no, just kidding um but yeah we i mean obviously we argue here and there but so three the things just say three <laughs> things you think that that make the relationship making time for each other one that's good two um, I'll, I'll, put, I'll 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 put in on this one which one communication which communication yeah which i will say i i struggle with that a little bit and alex is like making me better at that communication and three i think it would be but well, i'm thinking like of things you do and it's like little things like him buying me flowers or him saying yeah. i love you in the morning Rom or like romance keeping the like romance good morning alive. my beautiful wife and like stuff like i'll that. say some, some like dumb shit like that like being he, like alex is sarcastic dumb but like time. being sarcastic but being like for real. yeah he's like, like good morning my ever... beautiful wife with yeah. the big butt and i'm like babe and she's like <laughs> but i like it I'm just kidding but yeah like just just little things stuff like, like that, that. that being funny with each other that can go a long way okay crystal asked favorite thing favorite thing about each other cob ass that yeah corny ass my favorite thing about leslie is honestly like her humor and oh uh, you think you're funny she's funny <laughs> and her determination her Aww. grind set all of that stuff they've saved that for the vows <laughs> those are like my top two things i mean like obviously her humor is a uh, humor is a big thing because we, we're both like jokesters and we like to talk talk you know like we just like to talk nonsense and then obviously just her determination as a business owner as a mother as all that good stuff i mean I, I guess I, I was gonna say like what she is as a mother but maybe that determination can fall like under like that can go under determination um just how she is with our kids how she is that handles all of that stuff as my partner as a mother as a Aww. business owner and th those are like my favorite wait so you do like me favorite trend. I, love <laughs> I do love okay me. i have two this one's actually pretty easy my two are how good of a father he is he's like a, a really 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 <laughs> really good dad and my second favorite thing how do you call it detallista that's the word that oh, he's detail. detallista 
that's exactly the word I needed without elaborating too much. Very detallista. I feel like that's something mm -hmm. that I might not like be vocal about this like every day, but it's definitely something that I'm like, oh my god, like I'm so thankful that he's like that, you know? Wow. Because hey, this is live because on camera too, guys. Right here, this is not, like she said, it's not something that we hear every day. <laughs> yeah, don't think we wake up and we're like, good morning, baby. Like, no. So. Rubbing our noses. <laughs> that's something yeah those are my top two about you babe why don't you guys ever vlog with Cobb <laughs> I wanted to answer this one because if you didn't know now you know my best friend Cobb is dating Alex's best friend Marcus like best friends since I don't know middle my big school, homie Marcus high school since middle school yeah yeah so like 10 plus years but yeah we should actually do a video with them I don't really vlog with Crystal Crystal's like my sister and Marcus is like her brother or whatever we, his brother and stuff like we hang out a lot but when we're with them, I feel like this is like, that's kind of like our unplugging time now that I'm thinking about it. It's like, like our, besides, our time. Yeah, so like, we should plan a trip and vlog it though with them. Yeah, they're a good time. Marcus and Cobb are fun. <laughs> they're right, I'm just kidding. Right, right, people. Yeah, we should for sure um, vlog something with them. Marcus has never been on camera, so he might be yeah. a little shy and stuff. Marcus might be a little shy. It'll be cool to take it back to like the YouTube challenges or something. Uh, how important do you guys think date night is in a relationship? So fun fact, tomorrow I'm gonna go live uh, getting ready. It's my first life back for date night. So Alex has been telling me this. He's been wanting to take me on a date. Just kidding, but are, are you in bra no, again? No, 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 no. And I'm just like, no, we, we have have so much to do we have this to do we have that to do and he's been like wanting to prioritize taking me on a date and i haven't let him grow yeah. just kidding but no that's definitely something that uh i'm like you know what i do want to like kind of make that a priority maybe not like every <laughs> every week at least once every two weeks like you know just me and him on date night because i mean you guys know like we'll go out of town and stuff but it's for work so I can blah, blah 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 but like actually like at home going on a date night and coming back home because when we're home then kids, girl, <laughs> they're always obviously here. It was no es lo mismo, if you know what I mean. Just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, just prioritizing day night. I'm actually excited for that, babe. I'm yeah, very excited. I am, I am too. I'm, I'm literally excited. So. Yeah, we're, we're excited. Like, we we're haven't just, done that in a while. We don't do day night. Like, we like, really we don't. We haven't done a like, legit date let's night. Let's go on a date. Because we used to do it a lot. Or no, actually. Well, ever since mm -hmm. the kids, like we just say, it just goes back to like, <laughs> and not making it sound like, yo, them okay. kids ruin everything, but. Um, you guys get it. If you get yeah, your parents, you, you guys get it. You obviously don't have the time to just be doing those type mm -hmm. of things all the time. Like mom guilt comes in because yeah, we're mom already guilt, so busy. Yeah, parent that. guilt or, you know, but... Um, our I, first I, one is tomorrow. Our first one is tomorrow. It's been a while, so <laughs> it'll be fun. You know, just nice dinner and a little glass of wine. Get all loca. Just kidding. No, just, yeah, for sure. Get like a nice dinner. Just good talks with my mans. Coming back home. But yeah, honestly, I'll let you guys know how that goes and how important it becomes in our relationship. <laughs> but I have heard nothing but great things. And like, no matter how busy you are, make it a priority. Even if you guys like just go walk around the park at night or something, but like a little. A little alone time. Alone and date night. Okay, a lot of the other questions were wedding related, which we will answer. But again, when we have the right answers, I'm honestly so exciting, so excited for the wedding content because now that the time is approaching, like I'm getting like the whole, I don't know, wedding vibes, fever. wedding fever vibes. And I just cannot wait. Just know we will be sharing absolutely, I mean, as much as we can, pre-wedding, wedding, wedding post wedding all of that i definitely want to bring you guys along we're going on seven seven years now guys which means i've been on social media seven <gasps> what the heck time flies when you're having fun but yeah if you know you know i started social media when me and alex had like six seven months together and yeah fun fact seven months for seven years <laughs> yeah that's Crazy. what i'm saying like you guys have been with us well with me and then with us since the beginning and all of that stuff since our apartment days the kids so yeah that's a big a big step for us uh, to share with you guys. But yeah, that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, let us know if you guys want to see a podcast coming up. Just kidding, not a podcast, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see what you guys leave uh, in the comments. Like this talk show. Segment. Or maybe like talking about topics because right now we were trying to like keep it pretty simplified, but maybe like elaborate more on certain topics. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.